Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. I will finally show you how I make the lids for my enclosures and here's all the tools and the supplies I use. I have the wood, the wire mesh and then the tools. I have these pliers, then some screws, hinges, uh, a drill and then I have this, I think it's called countersink bit. Um, don't quote me on that. And this other bit for the screws. And then I have all of these clamps. I have these quarter clamps and then regular ones. These are very, very, very helpful. I would never want to get rid of these, but you can do it without these. Uh, it will probably not be a hundred percent straight, but that doesn't matter. And then of course, I also need this little uh, drill bit to drill the holes. And yeah, here is the wood that I will be using. Uh, I always use beech wood because it's a hard wood, so the lid is sturdier, uh, it's heavier, so the hamster cannot really lift it. But it's also a bit, a bit more expensive than other woods, so you can definitely use other woods as well. I use 40 by 20 millimeter ones for the base frame, then 15 by 15 millimeter ones for the smaller frame, and then um, I think 6 by 25 millimeter ones for the top frame to cover the wire. And I always have the people at the hardware store cut them for me just because it's faster this way and everything is perfectly straight if they cut it because if I do it's not. <laughs> and yeah, it's super helpful. And uh, first of all, I always start with the big larger frame. You can leave this away if you uh, do not want to attach your um, lid onto a glass enclosure with hinges or if you have a wooden enclosure, then you also don't have to do this. Um, I first start by just laying out the wood uh, in the shape I want it to be in this rectangle. And I use the wood uh, this way around because this way the lid is a bit taller and it adds four centimeters of height to the enclosure. You can do it the other way if you want to. I just prefer to do it this way. And now my beloved corner clamps. I'm going to put these on all four corners so it holds the whole thing together. And this is what it looks like with all four corners done. And it also, it holds it perfectly in place, so it's much easier to screw everything together. But once again, you do not have to use these. Uh, they're just very helpful, especially if you're working alone. And then I have the drill bit on the uh, drill. And I'm using these screws. I have no idea if they're the right ones, but these work perfectly for me. Uh, I didn't look into what screws would be right for this wood, so maybe don't trust me on this. And I will be using two screws uh, on each corner for this big frame, just so it's extra sturdy. And I also think it looks a bit nicer, but that doesn't really matter. And trust me, you have to... Uh, drill the holes first. Do not attempt to just put in the screws. It will not work. Trust me, I tried it. It doesn't work. Don't be as stupid as me. Uh, so I first drill in the holes, then I use the countersink bit to do the sink holes, and then I put on the drill bit for the screws, and then I add the two screws in. And I do this in all four corners, so I have this base frame finished, and this is what it looks like. Now on to the smaller frame. I will be using the 15 by 50 millimeter ones for the smaller frame. And I have five here because as you can see in the next clip, I have added one in the middle because the lid is 150 centimeters long. I just wanted to have some um, more wood that would add more sturdiness to the whole thing. Uh, you can leave this out. I probably wouldn't do this if the enclosure was like or the lid was uh, 120 or smaller, um, just because I don't think it would be necessary, but I thought that it was necessary here. And once again, I used the corner clamps and I really take my time to make sure that the corners line up because if you don't take your time and do it sloppily, there's not really any reason to use the corner clamps. So if you're gonna use them, I'd recommend taking your time to do it right. 
and here you can see I did all four corners. I unfortunately only have four corner clamps so I couldn't do the middle one yet but I did that later on and I also measured that it's really in the middle because I wanted it to look nice. And then once again the same thing as with the big frame. I used these screws but honestly I should have used the other screws uh, because it turned out that these screws were terrible. They did not work at all. I really had to struggle them in there so I don't recommend these screws um, but this is what it looks like after I did all four corners and then I got my measuring tape and I made sure that the middle piece was in the middle and then I added the corner clamp to make sure that it was at the right angle and I did this for both sides and I measured twice so it would, re it would really be in the middle on both sides and then I did with the middle part as I did with the others and then I added the wire mesh on top. I had already cut it to the right width but the length was still too long so I put it on with these corner clamps that would, uh, not corner clamps, just regular clamps that would make sure that it stays in place so I don't cut it too short or too long. And I just used the pliers here. I absolutely hate this part so if you have any tips on how to do this, well I'm not planning on doing any more lids but if you have tips for other people uh, what would work better, uh, leave them in the comments. But this is what I used and I just cut it all the way across the whole thing. This is what it looks like after I cut it. I really made sure that it's the right length but I, because I didn't want to have to cut it twice. And now I put the 25 by 6 millimeter wood long on top and I um, attached it with these clamps to make sure that it doesn't move around. And then I used these screws that I will show here. Uh, for this one I once again uh, dr drilled the holes and then I uh, used the countersink bit and then I added all the screws. Probably would have been nicer if I would have measured so that the screws are like uh, they all have the same distance between each other. I was too lazy to do that so I didn't but it probably would have been a lot nicer. Um, here is what it looks like uh, after I did it and as you can see I still had to do all the other sides and the middle. And as you can see here the wire mesh is kind of like sandwiched in between the two um, wooden pieces. So it makes it look very nice, I think. And then I added the like the smaller frame with the mesh on top of the big frame that I made in the, uh, in the beginning. And then I put the hinges on there. I took a pen and marked where I had to drill um, holes for the screws. And then I did that. Then I added the hinges back and just attached it with screws. I did that two times for my lid. I probably should have used three hinges but I forgot to buy more at the hardware store and I didn't want to go back but I would probably use three uh, if you have a shorter enclosure two works perfectly fine and now the lid is almost all finished the last thing I wanted to do is I didn't have a way to hold the lid up and I just find it very unpractical if it doesn't stay up if you put it up so I always add um, a little wooden piece there that holds the lid up if I want it to stay up. And I once again drilled a hole, used the countersink bit, and then I screwed it on there. And so it wouldn't fall down if I just laid it there. I uh, glued on a little dowel that just holds it in place. This is what the lid looks like all finished. I just set it on the glass. Um, this has worked perfectly for me. As you can see in the next clip, I did end up adding some smaller wood pieces on the outside that hold the lid in place so it doesn't slide around as much. And then in the next clip you can see, see how well it holds up with the little holder thingy. And I really hope that this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.